explosive family feud, a star student at a leading music college claims her own mom and dad were stalking her. So she went to court to get them to stop a judge issuing a restraining order. ABC's Lindsay Davis is here with that ABC News exclusive interview. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Amy. Typically, restraining and stalking orders are issued in domestic violence cases with a spouse or boyfriend. But in this case, we are talking about a 21 year old getting a stalking order against her parents. She is their only daughter and they could now face criminal charges if they don't keep their distance. If I wanted to die in a field, I would lie, right? Like, you could find a mischievous guy who could flirt me, then hurt me, and all of his feet. That would be me, not on choice three. Aubrey Ireland is a gifted 21-year-old theater major, often winning major roles in her school's musicals. But her latest win wasn't at her prestigious music conservatory, but in court after she filed a civil stalking order against her parents. Earlier this month, a judge ruled in her favor, ordering that her parents must stay at least 500 feet away from their only child. They basically thought that because they were paying for my um, college tuition and, and living expenses that they could tell me what to do, who to hang out with, and you know, basically control all of my daily life. The Dean's List student's complaints against her parents began when she realized they'd installed monitoring software on her computer and her phone, making the singing hopeful feel like, quote, a dog with a collar. They also paid unannounced visits to their daughter, traveling 600 miles from their home in Kansas to meet with Aubrey's department head, accusing their daughter of promiscuity, doing drugs, and having mental issues to the point where they were considering going to court to order that she get treatment. My mom has always been very overly involved, and I would have to get on Skype all the time and show them that I was in my dorm room or... Like, there were nights where I had to leave my Skype on all night, so, and my mom would watch me basically sleep. She claims her parents, David and Julie Ireland, have been diagnosed with codependency disorder, but they say their daughter is just a good actor, saying she's lying and calling her an only child who's been catered to all her life. Because Aubrey has cut ties with them in a very public way, they now want a refund of the $66,000 they've already paid for her education. Her mother says, we're not bothering her. We're not a problem. I never wanted this to happen. I, that's, the, that's the last thing I wanted, but I wasn't in control of my life at all anymore. I knew that they were holding me back emotionally, mentally, and professionally, and that um, it got to the point where that was basically my last option. Psychologists say boundaries can be tricky for parents with college-age children. I have no idea whether she's mentally ill nor if the parents have any kind of problems that may lead to the behavior that's been described. What do you do when a person is 21 and you're still concerned about the well-being of your child? If your child has a mental health problem, you're still responsible for that child, even though they're 21 years old or 25 years old. At a court intervention earlier this month, mediators told the islands that they were the issue, not their daughter. When they then stopped paying her tuition, Aubrey was given a full scholarship from her school for her senior year. We did reach out to the Ireland's but got no comment.